When you're in business, you're always eager to land new clients. Let's face it, a business is driven by its clients. If you don't have a client, you don't have a business. And so you might be eager to land any client that you find. In fact, you will pitch everybody who seems like they could possibly be someone that you can do some work for. The problem is you have to really be careful that you don't land clients that actually hurt your business. You see, all clients and all business is not equal. You can land a client and that client can turn out to be a big problem. You can have a client that takes a lot of your time, a client that's maybe inexperienced and requires a lot of attention. Maybe this is a client that needs to showcase everything they do to everyone in their office and they need to reach consensus. Maybe you have to work through layers of bureaucracy and approvals in order to work with them. Or maybe you spend so much time working with them that it turns out you're not really making much money in servicing them. It's those kind of clients you have to really be careful of and you have to be sure that those clients don't bring your business down because it's very easy when you run a small business to have clients that can actually hurt your business. So you have to really watch that very carefully and you have to look for clients that actually add to your business and not take away. In fact, that's a great definition for what a great client is. A great client adds to your business. It makes you more capable. It gives you a great reference and it heightens your skills so that you can go to others and say, I did work for this person, and others will look at that and say, wow, this was really good. Uh, this is a great reference for you. And a great client is one that pays you, of course, and pays you quickly. Doesn't take too long to pay you. It's another problem that you can have as a small business. So if you're looking at your client base and you're trying to figure out, okay, who do I pitch to do some additional work with? Who do I target? and which clients are better, use that as a barometer. Pick those clients that really enhance your business, that make you feel good about what you do, that act like great clients, great supporters of your business, and don't pull your business down. Every client is not equal. And when a client that isn't so good decides that they don't want to do business with you or for whatever reason the assignment ends, you might just be glad that that client is gone.